Okay, everybody. Well, I completed the installation of the dust collection, um, and I also received a, uh, another gift, which is pretty cool. I'll go over that. And while I was at it, my wife and I also installed the air filtration system while we were doing it. Um, it wasn't too bad. I tweaked a few things here and there, but oh, I, I kind of worked on it over a span of a couple days. Um, but probably total in hours, it only took me probably a full, it would be a full day, you know, eight, 10 hours. Um, but I'm going to go over a few things on what I did and what I have hooked up and um, show you a couple things that I'd like to add here in the near future. So it's pretty much 100% done, but there's some additions that I'd like to make. So uh, let's go ahead and go over that and see what we got. Okay, guys. So, um, Let's start with the dust collector. So as I said before, I have it right by the door. Um, I have an outlet that's right here. So I wanted it close. Um, I made sure that I had uh, room to swing this and clean this filter when I needed it. And this can actually be moved obviously because it's mobile because I can take this fern co off and um, move this uh, collector out of the way if I need to. I have plenty of room down here to remove the bucket. Um, so let's start right from the beginning. So like I said, as I used a six inch uh, fern co and connected my first piece of pipe and I have a Y and this is the new addition that I received as a gift. So my wife bought me this. Um, this is the uh, router table um, from Rockler. So I kind of had to tweak a few things to get this in, in the works. I did leave room originally. Um, this was empty. I knew I wanted a router table down the road, but it was pretty cool that she, um, right when I got the uh, dust collection done, uh, this arrived. Um, it does not have the fancy plate uh, where you can just go ahead and spin the router up and down. Um, right now, there's really only a couple bits that I really would use in it. When we make a lot of our stuff, for our craft shows and things. I really just use a roundover bit, one or two of them. Um, I really wanna get into the uh, data wing part of it and maybe some box joints to use that to maybe uh, go quicker instead of um, using the table saw with certain things, but um, that may be a, a pain in the butt down the road. But for right now, this is absolutely perfect. Dust collection here is just fantastic. I mean, I'm right next to this. Obviously, with the fence farther away, um, it's a little bit more difficult. Uh, I have really, obviously have a lot of debris that flies out here, but when I'm really close, it's really awesome. Um, down below, I do one of the additions I was talking about is I want to add the box from Rockler or just build my own um, that encases this, and I will add dust collection to that box as well. Um, because I, I did have a fair amount on the ground, not fine dust, just chips. So it, it, it's not a big deal. I'll just take the broom and sweep it up, but just kind of one of those things. While I have dust collection, I might as well get what I can. And basically I just move th further along here. This is all six inch and um, I have a six, six, four. And then from that point, I have a four inch blast gate and then I've got some plastic hose and it goes right up into the next machine. And I, I did that on, on every machine. Um, I go ahead and I did my 45 up and then I went above and over. Let me see if I can get this right for you guys. And then I come down and I come down to my joiner. So I have a Y, another 664. Um, I don't even believe they make a, a 644, but what I had to do on this is I got a, a reducer down here and then I just did the same concept. This turn I thought was gonna be too sharp. Um, whoops, sorry for my joiner, but it, it works really well. Um, the table saw length hose is a little bit longer than I wanted. Um, but it, it actually works pretty well, so I'm happy with it right now. I did, um, uh, what's the wording? I, I did kind of experiment with a little bit on how to seal my joints. You can see here I've got some, like, uh, it's silicone tape. I'll put the 
the description in, or I'll put the link down in the description so you guys can see what I bought. It worked pretty good. It, it, it's not tacky or anything. So it just kind of seals on itself because I thought if I ever need to tear this thing down, I can just peel it off and it's no problem. It worked pretty good. Um, you can see here, I, I added some basically on all my blast gates. And then what I did here is on all my joints here, I went through and just used silicone caulk. Um, that seemed to be the best. You get a little bit of sand or anything on that stuff and it doesn't want to stick. But it worked pretty darn good. Um, just real quick on the top, you can see, I just hope you guys can kind of see that. I just put some eyelets in the ceiling and I just used some rope to hold it up. That's all I did. Um, and I have six inch blast gates, one that I can close off if I'm not using the table saw or joiner, and then one here um, I can open and close if I'm gonna continue on and use a drill press and the sander. I do wanna point out, I did go ahead and buy the lathe uh, dust collector um, attachment for my wife's lathe, and that works really awesome, uh, especially for sanding. It, it's still quite a few chips come out, but you know sometimes her projects are a lot longer than this or even shorter, and it's kind of, a, kind of bulky and kind of a pain. I might actually come up with something else and build myself something here for her, so it's kind of back, but um, wide enough to cover most of the area, and then I can kind of slide it in and out easier than this. But for sanding, this thing is really awesome, and that's a lot of, obviously, what we breathe in, the big chips we don't. But, um, so we come around, I go went over my cabinet, and that actually helped for um, supporting this, because you can see I kind of just made up some two by four and plywood brackets. Kind of see I made another one down here. That's all I did to hold this up. So I come across to another one. And what I did for this right now is I just, I just kind of have this hanging here. Just kind of the idea is just to keep it hanging. There's really nothing I can find that has an attachment for a drill press. And, and quite frankly, I'm not too concerned. I mean, once I'm done drilling something, I don't use this very often. I kept this hose long enough so that I can go ahead and just clean up around it. It's really not meant to try and get in the way of, of what I'm trying to drill because it's kind of bulky and I really don't want it in the way. Um, so it's more for cleanup than anything. So as we move down the line, I have another one that comes down and I have it connected to the sander. And what I did on all the machines is I have the four inch to two and a half inch attachment and then I went ahead and used a fern co as well, a two and a half inch fern co. And I did that, if you can see, not this one, I just used a four and a half inch or four inch to two and a half inch, sorry, for this. And then I did the same thing here though, as I used a fern co. Those seem just from, you know, big box store, Home Depot or anything like that. They're cheap and it works really well. Instead of buying some of the, some of the Rockler stuff is just expensive as all you guys know. But go ahead and I use another 45 and we came across. And right now I capped this off. You can see I use some more silicone tape and um, I have a blast gate and this is pretty much closed. Um, there's two things that I've been thinking about what I wanna do and I think really mostly what I want is I wanna buy the, the Rockler, um, you know, the vacuum attachment deal. I wanna get a 28 foot hose I think this dust collector will be powerful enough to deal with that. But 28 feet will get me everywhere in the shop that I need to do, the floor. I don't want to sweep. Um, it just creates so much dust and it's just nasty. So I think I'm going to end up using this for that. I have a spot here that I left on the wall. I can hang everything nice and neat. Um, the only thing that I'm trying to figure out what I need to do is I have my planer. So, so far what I've done is I've, you know, basically borrowed off of the sander attachment, the two and a half inch fern co with the two and a half inch to four inch um, fitting to the hose from this. And I just pulled it off that end and just stuck it on there um, because I'm obviously not going to be using two machines at once. 
Um, that works pretty good. I'll just get, get its own attachment. So all I gotta do is just pull the hose off and stick it on. Cause this has a blower on it too. So I don't need a whole lot of suction. Um, the only downfall is it'll fill this bag pretty quickly. Um, but when I did that, I didn't have any issues with this. This is, I did like, I don't know, three or four different cutting boards. And this is all I have on my table compared to obviously just boatloads of chips. But um, you can see also, we've got the air filtration system hooked up. I put, I went up in through the ceiling. My, my uh, trusses are on four foot on center. So I had to go up and measure over and put some bracing across um, for the eyelets. And I used some chain that was rated enough to hold it. Um, I ran the cord along the dust collector, the dust collection pipe and plugged it in. I have an outlet, so it's on the ceiling. Um, that air filtration system was quite a task. It weighs about 60 pounds. Um, so you can kind of see here how it went. So yeah, um, it didn't go well the first time we didn't drop it or anything, but we, uh, come up with a better plan and um, got it up there and everything works great. You can kind of see, I don't know if you guys can, that filter was supposed to, was blue, brand new. And within a couple days, I was doing a lot of sanding in here, finishing on up on some projects. It it's, I actually like to see it like that because, and I know it's working. Um, the one plus about that thing is I can, I'll put a timer on it so when I'm done I just let it run the only thing that I don't like how I personally set it up is where I have it plugged into the ceiling the lights that I purchased they plug in so my light switch my light outlets are actually on a switch so if I set, shut the switches off everything shuts off that's connected to those obviously the filtration system. So what I have to do is leave the lights on for, I think I normally have it set for a couple hours. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I have to come back out after a couple hours and just flip the lights off. Really not a big deal right now. It's summertime. It's almost fall. Really not a big deal. Come wintertime, probably not going to like it as much, but um, I may end up running something down the wall uh, in one of these outlets and um, plugging in there. It's not a big deal. Let's see. But other than that, it's because that's pretty much what I have right now. Um, there's really no upgrades that I want to do right now. Um, everything seems to be working great. Uh, you can kind of see the dust collector has been actually working pretty well. This is all I have in this corner of all the stuff that I've messed with. And it actually has a little bit bigger pieces in it than I thought it would, but it's working really well. The thing has a lot of suction. I am absolutely surprised at how much this thing has. But let's um, see if we can't find some sawdust real quick. And I'll show you a little bit on what we've got. And I will put it on the end over there so you can kind of see how much it has. And I am going to try and hold this and do this at the same time. So bear with me here. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to turn this on. You can see it's not, it's not too loud. I talked about it in a previous video. It's about 85 decibels. It's not too bad. But it's, uh, it's manageable, you know. See if we have everything open. Everything is closed along here. My gate is open here. The only thing I can say real quick is that I get a little bit of rattling with these metal, with these metal ones. Um, but it's really not a big deal. It matters a little bit on how I actually tighten this nut here. The tighter I do it, the more it rattles. All right. 
see if we can't get close here. So it works pretty well as you can see. So I'm not sure how loud it's going to be on camera, um, but it works really well. And that's all the way to the end. And I can do the same for you, but it's the same thing. I actually have really awesome suction down here by, by the table saw and stuff. It does a great job. And I, I think based on everything that I researched, going with the biggest piece of pipe that I can, that that, that would accept first was the best thing to do. And I hardly have any length of hose here. I mean, we're talking, this is, you know, two feet. I got about two foot. You know, obviously this one's longer and this one's about three feet. So um, other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm really not quite sure um, what we're going to be doing next. Um, I do have actually, I think I might have showed you guys on a previous video, but I do have a um, bottom drawer finally on my miter saw station. I am starting to figure out kind of what I want to do for configuration for drawers and that. I'm going to start trying to get that done and getting storage completed. I need a lot of plywood for that and we've just been kind of bouncing around with everything. So um, if you guys have any questions at all on how I did this, uh, feel free to ask. But I should have said this in the beginning. There's one thing that I did not do and I will have to refer you to uh, Jay Bates had a couple videos on it. I have researched everything about grounding this and I have not once experienced any shock whatsoever on this pipe. It's very controversial. I understand there may be comments in this later on that says I'm crazy, but right now I have not grounded it. So Jay Bates had a video where there was scientific studies done where it is just, it can happen. Your shop won't blow up. Again, by me saying that, there's gonna be people out there that says I'm crazy. I don't know what I'm talking about. And maybe that's true, but right now, I'm choosing to not ground it. I don't believe it's necessary. So I will have to see what the future holds. If I start walking by the pipe, I put my hand up there in my arm and my hair sticking straight up, I may end up deciding to go ahead and put it in. It's really not gonna be a big deal to do it. Uh, everything's accessible, but I just don't feel the need right now to be doing it. So I just wanted to throw that out there. But. People may have had different experiences. I haven't really researched too much on YouTube and everywhere else to, to see shops exploding and things like that. So I'm, I'm fine with what I decided to do. But uh, again, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you, again, if you have any questions on what I did and how I did it, and um, feel free to ask. Uh, again, I don't have a large area that I did, so it's not as um, complicated as maybe some other people have to go. But um, it was easy. Um, once I got the parts, it was fun to put together. So, um, but again, thanks for watching. And if you guys like what you're seeing, please subscribe and, uh, we'll uh, see you next time.